A Georgia landscaping supply store that was hoping to open its new branch is instead picking up after a fire destroyed their building. Atlanta News first reporter Joshua Skinner is live for us in Holly Springs. That's about 35 miles north of Atlanta. Joshua, business owners say this was all started by a falling tree. Yeah, to be more specific, not just a falling tree, but a falling tree that fell on a power line about 50 yards that way. You can still see a little bit of that tree. The truck is driving by but right there at that T intersection. It was caused by it caused a chain reaction. So the tree fell on these lines. These lines then run to the house. You can see the lines here pulling the siding off, which then leads up to that smoke filled opening, which they say caused the blaze. Logan and Zach Taylor had nearly reached the finish line with their manufacturing business's new location. We did a lot of renovations on this lot and the building specifically to get it up and running. They've been dealing with a lot of construction, both on their street and inside. We, we were optimistically uh, opening up everything, you know, in a week or two. That dream, the grand opening of Taylor Outdoor Supply, went up in flames Sunday night. We got it fixed up, it was ready, and then setbacks. According to a preliminary investigation by Cherokee Fire, the blaze was caused by a tree across the street. It fell, it damaged the power line over there, which caused our power pole to pull off. By sunset, a year's worth of hard work. The ceiling had come down and, you know, there's water everywhere. It was under six inches of water. It was looking pretty good in here. Taylor Outdoor had been gearing up for pine straw season, which peaks in the fall. The brothers share the office with their wives as business. The only remains, family photos and birthday reminders. Stuff you can't plan for and stuff you don't expect. Now the work begins anew. We have absolutely no plans on this stopping what we plan to put here. Because all this fire did was keep their fire burning. Repair it, build it better, come back and open up a store where everybody can come and enjoy coming to. And you guys can see some of the damage here. A lot of this roof has come down on the floor. There's still some water in certain parts, even more water further into the building. Now the tailors tell me that this business, this building was insured. And they said they have spent all day on the phone trying to get this all sorted out. They're going to be spending a lot more time on the phone and a lot more time cleaning this up in the future. Reporting live in Holly Springs, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.